today is going to be about the new Clinique foundation that I have in my possession. These are all the skincare products from Clinique that I purchased and I have a video based on my skincare routine with these products. After you watch this video, check that video out on my page and on my YouTube channel. Today is going to be all about this foundation, Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation by Clinique. And I'm in the shade WN46, which is golden neutral. I already have my skincare on and I'm currently using all Clinique products. Let's take a look see, shall we? Ooh. This foundation has broad spectrum SPF of 25, which is essential because I am using a retinol in my skincare. This foundation is also allergy tested and 100% fragrance free. It's weightless, buildable, full coverage, which is something that I prefer. Packaging is so cute. <gasps> so aesthetically pleasing. The instructions state to shake the bottle and then I'm going to place it. Oh, it's so brand new. On my brush, two and a half pumps. Now, wow. Okay, I'm just gonna apply a little bit. Oh, it kind of smells like oatmeal. Let's see how this blends. My skin looks very luminous. I would say this is a perfect match. That was a really nice application. It definitely gave me good color payoff, but I definitely feel that I can go a little bit heavier with the coverage. I like how it's a thin formula and you can build. So I'm gonna change the brush. The brush definitely absorbs most of the foundation. So I'm going to use a flat foundation brush and I'll tell you exactly what I mean. The traditional brush, this is from the brand Crown. I'm going to try applying on one side of the face so that you can see the difference. I'm gonna apply on one side. I can definitely see there's more coverage. It's a very thin formula and it's easy to blend into the skin. It feels lightweight, which is really nice. As I'm applying, I was reading that this is visibly restores skin instantly over time with good for skin ingredients including vitamin c salicylic acid hyaluronic acid and also provides sun protection it's weightless buildable to full coverage second skin satin finish i love that basically it's gonna make it look like you just received a facial from your local esthetician this side is applied with a traditional foundation brush and this side is applied with a buffing foundation brush look at the difference with the coverage now i have to copy this method on the other side so we look even i would like a little bit more coverage under the eyes so i'm just gonna add a concealer because that's my preference but honestly you could just leave it alone if that's your preference I just like a little bit extra coverage under the eyes. By the way, the concealer I use is the Sephora Make No Mistake Waterproof Concealer. It's full coverage. I love this. It's comparable to the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. I'm going with this one for, for now on. I'm setting the foundation with the RCMA No Color Powder because I do not want to interfere with the color of the foundation whatsoever. Look at the difference that this powder creates before and after. <laughs> I'm just applying this powder on my T-zone because I have combination skin. The Balm's Bahama Mama to contour the face. I want to see how this foundation works with powder on top, a powder contour instead of a cream contour. I want to see how the product settles. It was very easy to apply the powder contour on top of this foundation it went on really smooth and it was easy to blend. Add a little bit more warmth to my skin using the Sephora palette. This is the Spice Market blush palette. I'll be using this shade right here, toasting the edges. Using this blush that I bought in my dollar store haul video. And this is in the shade number six from Starry Cosmetics. I'm telling you, if you haven't seen my dollar store haul, check it out. I have such 
a vast collection of blushes and nothing comes close to how much I favor this specific blush. I am obsessed with it at the moment. It goes with so many different outfits and so many different types of makeup looks. It complements my skin so well and I haven't been able to find a blush like this anywhere else. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Look how amazing. It just melts into my skin. It's perfect. Dip into the original highlight palette. This is the palette that I would use all the time. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is very well loved. <laughs> that glow baby proof brow shaper pencil by sephora this is also something that's changed my brow game this is my holy grail brow product now i've updated my brow game look at that Oof. set it using the max fix plus i have a lipstick haul that i'm going to be releasing very soon and it's based on all the mac lipstick collection all of them swatches and everything if you're a curly girl like me you understand we have to cover our hair Ooh, this smells so delicious this is definitely unlike any other makeup setting spray that i've used a little bit goes a long way i think i spray too much <laughs> to be honest makeup revolution maxi reloaded palette the ultimate nudes This palette has been my go-to palette as of late. The Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in white. Cut the crease, baby. Yeah. Glamorous. Mm-hmm. I draw my liner off camera. I use LA Colors. This is from the dollar store. Eyeliner is everything and more. MAC Magic Extensions Fiber Mascara. Are you ready for this? How pretty is this packaging? This mascara states that I can ditch my false eyelashes. I definitely believe that I can ditch my false eyelashes during the daytime just using this mascara, honestly. Look at the difference. I'm still gonna be applying false lashes because why not? <laughs> I think I found my new go-to mascara. Tuz Ultimate Gel Eyeliner Waterproof. Last but certainly not least, Grape Escape. This is such a soft goth type of lipstick shade. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and ensure that you're following me on Instagram and on Facebook. I also have a YouTube channel, so ensure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel as well. I do post exclusive videos and content on there and exclusive video content on Facebook that I do not post on Instagram. So make sure that you're following me on all my platforms. That way you can see all the content that I am creating for you guys.